In this video, we're going to walk you through the valve sizing spreadsheet. This is a simple Excel tool that we have developed to accompany the course on valve sizing. This spreadsheet is included in the downloadable resources folder at the end of the course. The spreadsheet comprises mainly of two worksheets, one for liquids and another one for gases and vapors, including steam. Shown now on screen, the welcome page of the spreadsheet. You can see here a recap of the main data and formulas being used. We'll get back to this in a few moments. If you scroll down, you will see instructions of how to use the spreadsheet. Basically, input data should be entered in yellow cells. Units of measurement should be selected from a drop-down list when applicable. The Excel program will display the results in gray cells. Scrolling down a little bit further, you will see other valuable products from WR Training, such as Flow of Fluids Excel Workbook, or the Chemical Engineer's Reference Folder. You can click on any of these products for more detail or to view the corresponding table of content. You can also visit our website by clicking on our logo or simply click here to drop us an email on contact at wrtraining.org. Let's now go through the Excel program. First thing to know, we have organized this valuable tool into two sections. The first section includes all the sizing equations needed to size valves for liquids only. The second section deals with gases and vapors, including steam. Let's have a closer look at each section. The sizing for liquids worksheet is organized into two subsections. Non-vaporizing flow conditions and choked flow conditions. The section on non-vaporizing flow conditions is further split into two parts, fully turbulent flow and non-turbulent flow conditions. Under each subsection, you will notice several calculation tabs. Each tab allows the calculation of a specific parameter. Now we are not going to go through each tab, but we will only walk you through one example for the sake of demonstration. Let's suppose that we want to calculate the pressure differential that a selected valve will exhibit. To do that, we will need to scroll down and use the following tab. Recall here that inputs should be entered in yellow cells. Results will be displayed in gray cells. In this example, in order to calculate the pressure differential, we will need to specify five parameters. These are the volumetric flow rate through the valve. Its unit of measure from the drop-down list. The valve flow coefficient CV. The piping geometry factor, which is its own calculation tab. And the fluid-specific gravity. Let's suppose that the flow rate is 500 GPM. The valve flow coefficient is 50. The piping geometry factor is 1, assuming that the valve is connected to the piping system with no attached fittings. And that the fluid is water, flowing at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so with a specific gravity of 1. For this configuration, the selected valve will exhibit a pressure differential of 100 pounds per square inch. Let's now have a closer look at the second worksheet, Sizing for Gases. Here again, you will find several calculation tabs. Each tab allows the calculation of a specific parameter. Notice that for flow rates, you can choose between four different tabs. The selection depends on whether you're calculating a volumetric flow or a mass flow and also depends on the type of input. For example, if your objective is to calculate a mass flow rate and the molecular weight of the gas is known, then you will have to choose this tab here. Next, it is straightforward. 
Just plug in your variables in the yellow cells, and the result will be displayed at the bottom of the tab in a gray cell. So this was a quick overview of the valve sizing spreadsheet. It is quite simple and has an intuitive user interface. We hope this sizing spreadsheet will help you solve daily valve flow problems. For more detail on this tool or other WR training products, please visit our website or drop us an email on contact at wrtraining.org. Thank you for watching.